So in today's session, we are going to talk about mastering your timing. So time is one of your most valuable resources. It is the only resource that you cannot get back essentially. And it is so important to clients that you stay on time for your appointments. One, when they're coming to visit you, so they're not sitting and waiting for you. And two, that if you say that a service is going to take a certain amount of time, um, that they can plan accordingly because a lot of people are so busy and um, have so much going on. So it really is important that you master your service timing. So time management, service timing is all a part of the integrity of the hair service. And knowing how long various tasks take to complete is essential for a successful career. Your clients will be so happy that their appointments feel calm and your coworkers and employers will be happy that they aren't interfering with the flow of any of your other appointments, especially if you are working with other people that are taking your clients, if you are not the only per- person servicing the client. So really making sure that you know how long each service takes you and that you not only quote your cost properly, but that your cost of service properly, but that you also quote the timing per perfectly. So by simply being aware of and managing your time, you can avoid frustrating your clients and inconveniencing the people that you work with, especially if you're station sharing or if you are, you know, really utilizing time in the salon in a very tight way. So here are a list of benefits for better time management. One, it's going to increase your productivity. Two, it is going to make better planning, and this will help you better forecast. It'll help you improve your focus. It'll make more opportunities for you inside of the salon and with clients. Your clients will feel like you are more reliable when you actually work on your timing and understand how long it takes and what your limitations are in each amount of time frame, one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, then that is going to make you more punctual and more reliable. It's going to create less stress. It's going to boost the morale of your service and it's going to improve your revenue. So here are some things that you can do to make sure you're managing your time effectively in the salon. One, plan. Send out an email before the client comes in and create a plan on what you're going to do to their hair. If you need advice, ask for advice, but at least that way you have a game plan and you're ready to go. Two, prioritizing what is important in the moment or at that time is going to really help you with your timing, especially when it comes to services. If you know that you are running behind, what is the most important thing at that time to make sure that the guest in, the guest service is not impacted? Ask for help. If you need help with something, if you need someone to grab your foils or remix for you, or if you just need help with, um, you know, with blow drying, ask for help. If you notice that one of your team, you one of your team members, is you know not busy at the moment, you can always ask for help. Schedule breaks in if you feel necessary, and really get organized. So one of the things that I like to tell my staff, especially if they've already seen guests in the salon. Pre-organize. So pull your color, set up your cart. If you're doing extensions, set up your extension, um, you know, beads. Make sure that you're really staying organized and that you are setting up for your day. Set up your station so it is more functional. Uh, Make everything more functional so that way you can really maximize your time inside of the salon. What I recommend to my stylist is grab a mannequin head and set a timer. We're going to do 15-minute increments and Every 15 minutes, you're going to stop and you're going to count and see how many foils and um, what you were able to accomplish if you're doing another service in that 15 minutes. And that will give you an idea of how long it takes you. Time how long it takes you to do a blow dry. Time how long it takes you to do an intricate haircut. Time how long it takes you to do a long layer haircut. I have an Apple Watch. It is the best thing ever. Set a timer. Really start tracking to see how long things take you so you can start really being focused and managing your time in a more efficient way. I hope today's session was helpful and let's get started on really figuring out what you can accomplish during your service times.